Um, while we're waiting for the last few to come in, actually, so we're going to be running um, the retrospective sailing workshop. Um, I've kind of thought that we can do it on like uh, the theme of Agile on the Beach and the topics on Agile on the Beach, so it's kind of shared topics and shared interests. So I'm just thinking, actually, I could kind of do a bit of sorting while we're just waiting. So I was going to do for um, Agile on the Beach generally, we'll do a retrospective, so um, like what's been, what's gone well for you, what's, um, what's held you back perhaps, what would you like to have been better at the conference, uh, but then also about the tracks, um, so like the software Cornwall boats, uh, software Cornwall, I've got it on my head, um, the software uh, craftsmanship software delivery track, um, that perhaps will be more about the topics of the talks as well, so does that make sense, so like what you've learned um, about that, so um, it's, a, it's a pretty kind of free session. Um, if anybody's got any, has anybody got any suggestions of topics that they'd like to have a retrospective on? Are you good with that? So we'll go for the Agile on the Beach stuff. So if we say these two boats will be software delivery, how many of you would go, so actually how many of you would do software delivery? <laughs> One, two, okay, three, four, okay, cool. So we'll do one boat here, which will be software delivery. Cool. And then, uh, uh, what are we next? Uh, teams. Okay, cool. So we need a couple of boats for that. So if we say these two boats here for teams. Who would like to do Agile on the Beach generally? Okay, cool. I thought that might be a good, that's a good popular one. So should we say there's three tables at the back. Those ones will be Agile on the Beach generally as a whole. Um, and then who have we got left? We've got, so, product. Who would like to do product? Yeah? So, do you want to be those couple of tables over there? Bit of self-organising, self-managing going on as well, hopefully. Um, and then, what else have we got? Practices, I guess, is the other word. Business. Oh, business. Business, yeah. Okay, cool. That'd be... Uh, so, then, where have we got tables? So, we've got those two there. So we'll go for those two there, business. Yeah? Okay, and then you're kind of in the right kind of area. That works. Um, we've got a few last bit. So anybody not picked there for a minute? Okay, you've just come in, Ian? Yeah, okay, cool. So what kind of, would you like to um, do a retrospective on Agile on the Beach generally or one of the themes? General, so general's at the back. Software's there. Business is there. Uh, product is there, and teams, practices, is these two tables here, yeah? So, if you want to review teams and practices here, product in that corner, general, whole agile on the beach, business, software, yeah? Cool. Are you sure? Oh, oh okay, cool. <laughs> Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a really kind of brief run through, but you've got some instructions. It's a really easy, straightforward game, at least I think so, so uh, maybe some feedback on that. Um, so basically, it's a um, uh, retrospective sailing game, so it's all about retrospectives. Um, sorry, oh right, anybody not know me? I'm <laughs> Um, so I'm Belinda, um, I'm here, this session is about being Agile, which is my um, business and I'm also one of the co-organisers for Agile on the Beach and I run Software Cornwall as well. Um, so this is last year's, we totally smashed this last night, don't you agree? This is last year's photo, so I think I'm looking forward to seeing um, the next year. We've definitely got more people this year, so that was awesome. Um, so being Agile is all mostly about kind of taking Agile beyond code. So I'm not a technical kind of agile. I don't help teams to kind of write code. What I do do is I help teams to be agile. Um, so that can be technical teams, but it can also be like I work with museums and breweries and fashion designers and lots of awesome different types of business. So really kind of focusing on agile teams and products and businesses and practices rather than that kind of hardcore coding. Um, I do have a computer science degree, but um, coding kind of, I'm, I'm not, I, I have lots of respect for the coders in the room here. 
object orientated kind of went over my head. I did law instead. So, <laughs> so this is a bit of our rundown. So it's going to be quite fast. Usually when I do this with teams, we spend a couple of hours on this. So this is going to be a bit of a taster for you guys so that you can have a bit of a play at the game and you can take this back and play it with your teams. And the bonus is I get some great feedback about Agile on the beach while we do that and the sessions and the tracks. So double whammy. Um, so I'll run through this, but yeah, it's pretty quick fire, but I'll put this one back up because you've got your boats up there. So anybody not done retrospectives before? So retrospectives are all about, you know, it's all about how we can look about how we can do things better you know, um, what's going really well for us um, and the kind of actions that we can take to take ourselves forward. Um, so this is an example of a, a very old boat, actually. Um, so we have sails to represent those things that are going well, what's putting wind in our sails, what's getting us to go faster. We have anchors, what are the things holding us back, what are the things stopping us. And then from that, we create actions about how we can raise those sails or raise those anchors, okay? Um, so there's another example, good pirate ship. So um, I'm going to get you guys to draw your own boats. Some of you got a bit of water already. Others that have got blue markers, you can draw your own water. Um, well, is Christina in the room? She's um, who's got the artist on the yeah. So might get her doing a bit of drawing. But it's not about how plush your boat is, okay? Um, so you've got these sheets on the table. So the way we're going to do it. Um, basically, draw your boats first of all. I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to draw your boats, and then I'm going to kind of um, give you... Uh, basically, I'll try and give you like a one-minute warning, okay? So rather than go stop, I'll go, right, you've got one minute left to finish drawing your boats, then we're moving on, okay? So it's going to be quite rapid. You're only going to have a few minutes to do each thing. Then um, name your boat. So I'd suggest you call it the software delivery boat, the agile on the beach boat. But if you want to come up with your own names, go for it. But don't spend too much time. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've worked with startup businesses that spend the first year coming, trying to come up with a name, you know. Um, we've got our topics nailed. Um, and then I'd like you to just pick up on what your mission is. So on the boat, um, in the hull of your boat, just a couple of post-it notes about, so if you're doing Agile on the Beach generally, as an example, what was your mission for coming to Agile on the Beach? What did you want to learn? What did you want to gain? What did you want to achieve? What was the outcome you were looking for? Yeah, that makes sense. And then what we'll do, we'll add our sales. So if everybody can add a sale each to so come up with one, I would suggest as a team product, if you were doing it over a couple of hours, you'd come up with as many as you can think of, but we're, we've got 45 minutes and so we've got to be rapid. Um, what's putting wind in your sails, and then an anchors, what's holding you back, okay? And then what I want you to do is I want you to score those sails and anchors. So how big is that sail? Is that a massive sail? Is it like a 10 out of 10, a 9 out of 10? Or is it a little small kind of sail, like one or two? Um, and then similarly with the anchors, so is it a minus one? It's kind of a minor irritation. Or is it a minus 10? This minus 10 is stopping us in our tracks. This is a big old anchor that is stopping us getting anywhere, yeah? Cake is always a good sale, I find. Um, <laughs> um, and then the final part is to look at, so thinking agile, small incremental improvements, we don't want to take our minus eight sales to plus eight, uh, minus eight anchors to plus eight, we just want to move them up a notch. So think about the actions, what could you tail do to take your, say, so what could you do to take your cake sale, which is currently a number eight, to a number nine, so you can make it a regular Friday occurrence, for example, um, just to move things a little step forward. Um, does this make sense? Yeah? So I will run you through it again, but I wanted to give you a quick guide first of all. Um, so I'll, I'll guide you, I'll facilitate you as we go. Um, but if everybody's good, if you get stuck, come and shout. Um, I'll try and kind of run around, but yeah, just sorry that we are so tight, this, uh, it's, um, but it should give you a good taste. And then I think, yeah, and then I'll, if we've got time at the end, we'll do a couple of bits. So, you should have marker pens, you've got post-it notes to share. You might want to open those post-it notes and split them up between you, because I don't think there's, there's a few more than I was expecting, which is fabulous. Um, so, get your boats drawn, so I'm going to give you two minutes to draw your boats.
can see my baits aren't wonderful, so just basic baits are good. So, yeah. Actually, that's a good point. Your, sail, your boat must have sails and, uh, and, and room for anchors. You guys okay? Cool. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, there's some good boats here. Eggs. Right, you got one more minute. One more minute, guys. Okay, cool. So next thing is to add the name of your boat, okay? So that can be the topic that you're working on. If you want to come up with a cool name, come up with a cool name. I'll give you one minute for that. So name your boat. Yeah, go for that. Yeah, go for that. Because if you try and have a group discussion, you're not going to get there in a couple of minutes. So just go for what was your mission for your team. So, yeah, what was your mission um, in terms of coming to Agile on the Beach? Yeah? Or um, for the team stuff. So what you, once you've got your name, then what I want you to do is individually, so um, we haven't got time for team discussions, but... If you all individually write up what your mission, um, so that goes in the, in the hull of your boat, a post-it note with just one of the key things, what's brought you to Agile on the beach, why software delivery, why product, why teams, yeah? Guys, all right with your missions? Yeah. Cool. Oh, you've written them. You can you can write them on post-it notes as well if um, okay. as your split them up a bit. There should be some a few sharpies that way. So capture like your what what's the individual thing that's brought you to do? Dream team, I like it. <laughs> cool, we'll do one more minute on missions, yeah? If you think of any, you don't have to limit it to one. If you think of more, you can add more. So it's just in that time. So if you've, if you've done, then keep adding bits if you think of them, you know, till I call time. But if you can get one down, that's cool. In terms of mission, do you want us to group it together? Or if it's a common team? Or no, we haven't got time, I don't think. But yeah, generally, you'd, yeah, so generally you'd look at common themes and things like that and look at what's that. I think I'm just a little bit far away from the microphone. Mike. So, yeah, you'll see. It'll be good. Hopefully, if we get through it fast enough, we can do a bit of feedback and go around quickly and you can pick out a couple of key things. Okay, cool. So it'd be like the things that you want to achieve, the outcome. Okay, are we good? Has everybody got missions? Anybody? Good signal. If anybody gets stuck and I'm going a bit fast for them, wave at me, okay? Okay, so cool. So now you can do the fun bit, which is what are the sales? So what are the things of your experience of Agile on the beach? What's the stuff that's made you go faster? 
And are there any anchors that have held you back, okay? <laughs> you might find that you came to the conference with a particular thing and actually you haven't had that question answered or something like that. I'm hoping for lots of sales and not so many anchors. <laughs> They are, yeah, yeah. Constructive. This is, yeah, so for um, yeah. September, this is what I was thinking, you might be able to do something. Yeah, I think it might be able to do something. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I was whispering. Yeah, that's what I was whispering. As long as it's not for any other reason. Like, no, no. As long as no one else hears this. No one else hears this. These are looking brilliant, loads on them. Okay, is one more minute good? Okay, finish off the one that you're writing, if you would, and then start on scoring those sales and those anchors. So, how big are those sales? From a 1 to a 10, how big are those anchors? Minus 1 to minus 10. You might start having a bit of discussion around this point, so I'm going to give you a little bit more time. I'm going to give you a few minutes for this, so just try and score as many as you can. scoring them so you can score your own ones that you've put up is probably quickest and easiest yeah. but then if you want to have um yay <laughs> see i could i yeah that's gonna have to be in the feedback brilliant so add your numbers if you want to have a bit of discussion but yeah whack the numbers up there and then if anybody disagrees with the numbers then you can have a bit of discussion if you've got time so hopefully you get in the gist that usually you spend quite a lot longer on this <laughs> Ah, oh, you're on it. Brilliant. Fabulous. So they can be anywhere between minus one and minus ten. Yeah, minus minus one to minus ten. Yeah. Plus one to plus ten. So and uh, yeah, you can score your individual ones, have a bit of a discussion if you've got time, but usually you'd have a bit of a discussion, but 
given yeah. we're so under the cosh yeah. where um, so I'd suggest if you see if somebody puts something and you really disagree with it then maybe have a bit of a discussion at the end yeah. like but get the numbers down first brilliant you're getting your numbers down brilliant ace and then oh awesome gold star excellent you guys going okay? Are you awesome. On each anchor individually in each sale? Yeah, yeah. So you can like vote them, um, the ones that you did um, individually, and then I'd look and kind of if you want to argue any of them once you've scored them. Um, usually you'd spend quite a lot more time kind of discussing how how big or how small, so we're quite rapid. But yeah. And then when we do our actions, is it only off the biggest one or off the um, we'll pick a key, couple of key ones, I think, to pull out the action. So um, hopefully through this, you'll kind of go, oh, there's something we could do on that one. So, okay. yeah. Cool. Once you've done the first couple, they tend to flow real quick. You guys get, look at all yours. This is amazing. Brilliant. Fantastic. So you need to get some numbers on here. So how big are these anchors? Oh, really? Oh. Um, once you've done a couple, then you'll find that you'll really quickly score through them. Uh, but yeah, if you get some numbers on there, that'd be brilliant. Oh, awesome. Brilliant, brilliant. You can add it, add them on, they don't, um, add them on, and then if you start scoring these, and then um, if what I do is score the ones that you've kind of added yourself, and then, because um, we're nearly at the end of this, so you want to get some numbers on, um, but then if anybody massively objects, so like somebody says, right, the bus was a minus 10. Well, it wasn't that bad, it was a minus five. Oh, well, no, it was minus six, or was it a minus? Yeah, so like you can have a bit of a discussion around them, but usually you'd have a lot more time to go through this, obviously, and kind of get some numbers and things on, but so. Uh, you've got loads as well, you've got way loads, so go on with the, I'd, I'd crack on with the scoring, because you'll never get these all uh, okay. awesome. Should we start off with the positive? Yeah, I would. I would just kind of the ones that you've written down individually. I'd put your scores on because you'll not get through them if you're discussing them as a group. Usually you would. Oh, you group them. Oh, brilliant. So yeah, once you've done a couple of scores, then you'll you'll flow. You know this. <laughs> Done all your scoring. Yeah. If you've done all your scoring, if you want to start doing the plus one okay. bit, then crack on. There's just a few people that are a bit, and they haven't. They've done loads, so they're yeah. So they're a bit. But yeah, if you want to start thinking about so how can we turn this actions. minus one into a minus minus two into a minus one, how can we turn that into a from a plus four to a plus five, and just capture some of those key ideas, either overlap them or put them over here. Yeah. Sometimes it's easier to put them with them because then you can kind of see. Or even take them off and put them, pick, pick a couple of key ones. Oh, brilliant. You've started on your actions. Brilliant. Okay, one more minute and then we'll start on the actions. If you have done all your scoring, then crack on with your actions. You guys okay? Is that something that we can change, right? 
Yeah. Well, no, yeah, it's 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 if you do Agile on the beach in North Scotland... Cool. Can I grab your attention a second? Brilliant. Cool. So what I want you to do now is start thinking about how you can, if you haven't already started, start thinking about how you can raise those sales, raise those anchors. So just by one point, okay? So if it's a minus four going to a minus three. Um, one of the teams come up with a good idea in that they started using one of the different colored pens to put their actions on the same post-it note. So, or you can capture them separately, okay? You've got a different colour pen on this table, you haven't ever had let me try. It's a different colour there if you want to write the actions on there. My hair dryer has been lent out a number of times. They can go, they can either go, you can put them on with. Um, yeah, that's okay. I'd put, because like so you're doing it in a different colour, so that's okay. It will show you so you can pick. Yeah. Oh. You guys good? Cool. Oh, yeah, if you want to, just use a different colour pen to capture your actions and then put them on with them. So you don't necessarily have to put them separately if you want to. Sorry. I, uh, yeah, or you can do that. Um, I would pick a couple of the key ones because we haven't got loads of time, but usually you go through, and it's, it's interesting to see which ones are the key ones that people immediately kind of go. you you wouldn't come out with 20 actions, would you? No, well, it depends really on the, some, on the game. Sometimes we come out loads, sometimes we just come out with a few key ones, and then we kind of, those actions then go into your backlog in effect to be acted upon. Does that, yeah? Yeah. So, yeah, you can kind of, that works quite well, I think. You can capture in a different colour and... That's good. This is definitely the tidiest boat. <laughs> yes? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We had to have a train. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, um, what colour of the other teams, Genius, has done is just write their actions in a different colour pen and then match them in with a post-it note. Um, so you can... But uh, yeah, or you can leave it like that if you've written your actions that they make sense link, enough link to link. Yeah, we can link. Yeah, so whereas somebody have got slightly random actions and it doesn't a quite link. So. Like yeah, or put a, a coloured star and move it or something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cool. You 
cool with your, your accent. Oh, you've only got a black pen. Let me see if I, do you want me to find a different colour? Oh, brilliant. Okay. Oh, awesome. Are you happy then? Yeah. That's, um, yeah, there's various different ways. They're different every time I run it. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it works well. Yeah. Awesome. So you've got some, so you're going through your actions. Brilliant. You're good, yeah. Yeah, no, Good, brilliant. Brilliant. So we'll say uh, one more minute on actions. Is that okay? Yeah? You all turn around looking worried then. You're good, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to stop then and we can do feedback. So we'll do a quick, everybody can say that. Right, okay, finish your sentences if you would. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go round. We've got, um, we've got 15 minutes left, so I'm hoping in 10 minutes we can get round and everybody can share. So you'll have like a minute each to share a sale or an anchor in the action. So pick your, so I'm going to give you just kind of half a minute to pick which one you're going to feed back on, okay? So and who's going to be your spokesperson. Sorry, I keep muting myself. <laughs> Brilliant. We all good? Yeah? Okay, cool. You guys, we all got things to say all back. You guys okay there? You guys good? Yep. Okay, cool. Okay. Do you want to start, start? Yeah? So what's your, um, so you've basically got one minute to feedback. So give us one of your key sales or your key anchors and the action that you came up to raise that. Yeah? Okay, so the, 
the key anchor um, that we've got here is that we wanted more practical sessions because we felt that you know there just wasn't the opportunity there for giving feedback amongst ourselves, and that's really really important. Uh, and equally, I suppose, off the back of that, having interactive QA boards to so some mechanism of actually providing feedback like that as well. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Brilliant. I'll give you the mic because it just means you don't have to shout. It's so small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Um, uh, again, we had the QA board as well, about for more for knowledge sharing. Uh, on the anchors to kind of really, uh, to, to raise those uh, for b better structured networking, we, we thought maybe uh, have speed networking sessions. There was also um, there was a feeling about uh, oh sorry yeah, and also having um, a workshop stream as well. So we have more things less, so we have more time to to do this. So instead of 45 minutes, we can have a bit more stop, reflect. Move on. And last of all, uh, some of the sessions were, uh, uh, were sometimes thought, thought might be too technical. So maybe in the um, menu, what do you call it, the, the running uh, of it, you program. That's the one, technical word. Uh, that we have uh, something called a nerd alert or a tech rating on it so, so, so we can understand the level of technical knowledge required. Yeah, you copied us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we also had Prosecco as a 10. Yeah. I love this board. It has Prose Prosecco 10. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you. He would like it. Go on. Um, ours is really simple, actually, because one person's already highlighted the workshops thing. So we said it'd be nice to have some more hands-on workshops uh, as well. Um, and in linking into that is kind of potentially improving the scheduling. So for example, there was a story mapping one yesterday at the same time as the producty ones, and I would imagine there was a lot of people that wanted to do both. Um, so kind of maybe getting some feedback from people afterwards about the talks they potentially missed out on to help with next year's scheduling. And the other thing was, was the ratings on talks to maybe say this one's a bit more techy, this one's a bit more whatever, um, just to give people a heads up. So yeah, it's really similar actually. But cool. They weren't deal breakers. They, weren't small, they were small things. Small yeah, small they're just small things. things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. But are we just doing bad things or good things as well? Oh, good things, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah good, good things. Yeah, no, so yeah, we yeah. thought the diverse. Yeah, try and pick different ones actually. Yeah. So rather than us repeat ourselves, try and pick out ones. Well, that, we thought um, the diversity was really has been really good. Yeah. Not just men and women, but also the breadth of if, um, fields people are coming from as well. So we've had non techy non IT people doing really good stuff. You know, Lisa this morning was talking about agile marketing. That was really good from my perspective as a product manager as well. So. Yeah, it's been real good diversity. I think we all agreed on that. Awesome, awesome. How do you like the game? Yeah, good. Yeah? Yeah. That's the other question I should be asking, isn't it? Awesome. <laughs> they, they re this really good feedback. Thank you. Ah, right, just one there. Hi. Uh, yeah, so we're, um, <laughs> we're talking about Agile on the Beach in general. We, unsurprisingly, had very similar feedback, but to pick something slightly different. So we did talk about session clashes as well. Um, and that one of our actions there was to bring more people from your organization, which would be lovely. Mm -hmm. um, but also that actually there was, like yesterday felt really busy. There was a lot to do and a lot, a lot of sessions, which is great. Um, but uh, I guess for me personally, I, I uh, would perhaps want a bit more time to reflect and think about the session afterwards. So perhaps spreading it out over three days might even work. <laughs> Should we make it like a week? <laughs> oh, if only we'd be let out of the offices that long. Um, just on that, um, like missing out sessions as well. So one of the things you might notice in the rooms is there's video cameras. So what we do do is they are very minimum viable videos. They're not anything posh. But what it does mean is that um, you can watch sessions you've been to again but also you can pick up some of the sessions that you've missed. So there's an opportunity. It does take a little while for us to get them through the system and out, but I'm going to try and make it a bit quicker this year. So um, it'll be the next kind of couple of months. I'm in Italy next week, so it won't be happening next week. Um, <laughs> as soon as afterwards, once Melissa's processing. Okay. I'm not sure my liver would take a week of this. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, the thing we picked up was, uh, like, the big sale was, like, this the sense of community at this conference compared to a lot of others. It feels like a, a bunch of peers rather than a bunch of business networks, stuff like that. Um, 
However, w one of the things we thought would make that even better was find more ways to allow people to interact and get to know them. It's, it's, when it's a big open space, it's quite hard to, um, uh, you know, go up. If you're constantly going up and introducing yourself to people, it's, that could be quite overwhelming. So, could we do things like, um, oh, what, what do we call dinner it? With a stranger. Yeah, dinner, dinner with a stranger. Yeah, dinner with a stranger. So, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, how can we do that? Um, and then on the similar vein, but on the sales side of things, um, similar to what these guys were saying about the sort of specialist specialisms and the technical detail, is may maybe there's a need for a, a sort of agile for dummies track or something like that to be more inclusive, to bring people that are new to it more into that way of working. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. Cool. I like, um, I like they've got a shark on theirs as well. So um, there is a break after this session. They'll be kind of moving the room around, but you should have like five minutes to just wander around and have a nose. I'll take photos of boats maybe and um, post them up or something like that. Would that work? Cool. Uh, uh, we had very, very similar to everyone that's kind of gone on anyway. So we said about the sessions, um, we'd like them to be more interactive. We were saying this one's probably the most interactive that we've been over the last few days, oh. and we've really enjoyed that. Um, we also mentioned about the website. Everyone, I think, has found difficulty in finding things on the website and being lost, going around in circles. Um, so maybe put some UX on that. Um, and the good things, again, was the food and the, the, the setting, location and everything. But I think that what we would like is to make it easier to get to know people, the speakers as well as people who are attending. And some of the suggestions is, you know, you can have apps where everybody logs on and registers if they're coming to the event. Who are you? What's your background? What are you looking to get out of it? And that's quite useful to find out for everybody that's here. That's really good. I'm really glad you say that about the website as well, because we've tested Bizabo this year and I'm not convinced by it. So it's quite nice to hear that because they, well, I'll say oversold might be an understatement, but um, yeah, <laughs> brilliant, thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, I do appreciate it. It's right, so uh, we were uh, Business McBusiness Face, that was the name of our boat, uh, and we, we'll just say um, two things. Uh, I'm going to mention, uh, we, we thought the content was great, we thought the business talks were great, obviously we had clashing sessions and we'd love to see more and we're thinking how, what action would be useful there. Actually we think the, the conference is about the right length of time and also the speakers were speaking for the right length of time so I wouldn't want to make the conference longer or compress the speakers but we thought one thing we could do is we could have an, another lightning talk session. We could have probably had another lightning talk session today and that would have given more, you know, more people a chance to say something. So and one more point. Okay, and we had one more point. Actually, it's something that's begun to sort of come up where it's about getting to know people. We actually thought you could have a pairing concept. I don't know how you'll quite do it, but maybe get people from different skills, backgrounds, maybe technical and business people paired together. And at some point on the first day, you meet up with your pair, and then there may be some sessions designed especially for those pairs to attend together and learn together. Pair conferencing. <laughs> We have a new idea. This is good. Awesome. And final. Are you sorry? Yeah, no, it's all right. uh, so we're the software uh, software delivery track. A um, lot of similar things to what's already been said. So um, we actually mentioned that we wanted some more technical talks as well. Um, perhaps a separate stream for that or workshop stream. Um, one of our anchors, we didn't have that many anchors, but one of them was that perhaps some of the speeches were not clear enough about the topic beforehand, um, and perhaps increasing the length of time of the pitches in the morning, and also the afternoon pitches, people didn't really know where to go, or they were hard to hear in the foyer, so maybe hold them in the large room again. Um, and also, you mentioned already that the talks have been recorded, but we didn't re really feel like that information was there at the start of it, so a bit more reassuring um, that they are being recorded, so if talks are clashing, you know where to go. Yeah, um, yeah that's pretty much it, I think. That's really cool. Awesome. I think it's really interesting as well when you, we kind of go around the room and you hear like the diversity of what people are looking for. So you get that kind of, can we have more non-technical tracks? Can we have more technical tracks? Can we have this? Can we have... So it's, it can be really hard to balance as well sometimes. So 
but it doesn't feel like anybody's kind of come down with a meltdown kind of this is really awful so um, that's quite reassuring thank you um, and um, there's lots I think most boats have got beach party as a sale um, so that's really good and, and, and really good food for thought for me from the perspective of one of the organisers because I can really start thinking about this and it gives me that evidence as well to take back that I can kind of say it's not just me saying this um, so that's really really brilliant so um, so I've got a couple of quick oh I've got a couple of quick oh go on Actually, who's local? So who's kind of Cornwall, Plymouth? Ah, awesome. And who's kind of like a national? Yeah. International? Yay, we've got a few. Brilliant. That's, I, it's lovely. Over the last seven years, we've just seen the, the conference grow and expands every year. And every year we hit, you know, anchors and we, we raise the sales and they cause, you know, so it's never perfect. We are, we are literally trying to live agile. Um, but I think it's really, really, yeah, it's really reassuring to hear this really positive feedback and little things that we can tweak and change. And I like pair conferencing and these kind of ideas about how we can, we can be even more social, which, um, yeah, will be amazing. Um, so just a couple of quick slides. Um, just, I mean, this is one of my favourite ones that come out of, this, um, out of this game, playing this game with a team. Um, I had, um, I was working with a team. They've been doing, working on a project for... Um, a few months and we, we did the retrospective sailing game and one of the things we were working on was creating this team some slack um, so they got a summer intern in to pick up some of the odd jobs and when we did the retrospective um, Sam who was the intern he kind of wrote his post-it note and he snuck up to the board and he kind of put it on and ran away and his, his, his body language was really kind of closed and oh I'm really not sure um, and it was really quite a magical moment um, when they started scoring it and the team took him from like the sidelines and they put him centre sail, centre mast and sail, they scored him a plus nine and they added the word crucial and it changed his body language, he went from being, you know, he was like, well, I didn't, I wasn't sure, he put it in the middle, I wasn't sure, am I, am I sail, am I helpful, but then I feel like I'm that annoying person that's always interrupting, asking stupid questions, doing silly little tasks, not really sure how valuable I've been this summer to you. So he just got that massive reassurance from the team that actually he'd done some phenomenal work and the smile on his face, like I say, it kind of got me. Um, so I think one of the really lovely things about this game is one, it's, it's about doing a retrospective in a kind of fun way, but also there's some really critical stuff about learning stuff about your teams and being able to communicate that information and come up with some, oh, really? <laughs> Bloody windows. Should have bought a Mac, in it? Is that what you're going to all tell me? That's been coming up for weeks, and I keep snoozing it. Anybody else? Come on, somebody admit to it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, Linux, or yeah, well, at least you didn't say Mac. I would have like, oh, I can't afford a Mac. <laughs> um, these are really great, you know, team games, but also playing it with your clients and your customers and your stakeholders and different people in the organisation to get some feedback, get some gauge on how they're feeling and their temperature. Um, really good at looking for a way forward so the idea is it's about kind of finding those small incremental things that can make a change so one of the boats that I did you know it was like oh GIS just keeps crashing how can we move that forward we can start logging that we can start reporting that and just get some more information on that to take that forward um, and really helping you guys to be self-managing and self-organizing as well um, as teams um, so that's the workshop. This is me, as I say. I do kind of lots of different kind of being agile, different types of things. Um, I've got the book, which is great. Did anybody not get a Frisbee yesterday? Right, I've got some Frisbees. Would you like some? Yeah. I've got some goodies. Right. And the other thing... Yeah, I'm going to throw them all at you. Ready? <laughs> so, um, there you go. Oh, there you go. Have, there you go. You got one? So... And as so, which one do we think is like the best kind of sail or anchor? Anybody kind of? Pardon? Okay. 
You got one? Oh, there's a couple there. Oh, oh, there you go. I've got a few more. Okay, we got more on the stand if uh, if you uh, if you haven't got one. So um, so the key one really more workshops. I think we thought. Yeah. yeah? More workshops, more hand on. Yeah, okay, beginner, expert level, yeah, yeah, so um, I'll, I'll pick up some of these, these kind of key points and write them down and, and feed them back. More social time, more beach party, more beach party, more beach party, more pasties, more cake, more Prosecco. You can't Yeah. Brilliant. Thank you so much, and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of the conference.